What's up, Internet? This is EA4th Wolf, and welcome back to another episode of Wolf Watches. Today is a very late Sunday night, but I just wanted to knock out a couple of these videos uh, before turning in. So today, we'll be watching uh, Red vs. Blue, Season 15, Episode 12, Blue vs. Red. Wow. Okay, so last episode, uh, I mean, we got even more proof that uh, shit is going down, and we don't know what exactly is going to happen next. It kind of sounds like the blues are going to finally, the, the reds and blues, our reds and blues, are going to wise up to the uh, the copycat versions of themselves and maybe uh, find out what's happening to Dylan, the camera guy, uh, Jax, and, uh, and Washington and Carolina. So, uh, I cannot wait to find out what is going to happen, so why don't we go right into it. Episode 12. Sir, they're making another push. So, shoot back. Victory is close at hand. Their flag must be around here somewhere. But we're completely... But nothing. A soldier follows orders no matter what. You do what I tell you, son. Yes, sir. So this must be a flashback? Return fire, Cronut. We're Cronut. We're out of ammo. I'm shooting blanks over here. In that case, we're going to have to resort to plan B. You suck. You're... Bad at math. You have table manners that leave much to be desired. You smell like maybe you forgot to wear deodorant today. Your mother's lasagna is mediocre. They're attempting to insult us, sir. Yeah, I fucking noticed. This ought to shut them up. Ooh, my turn. Let me try. Not happening, dude. Oh, come on. How come you always get the sniper right? Because you're busy getting the prisoner. Also because go fuck yourself. <laughs> Mamma mia! They got Lorenzo! Quest unknown, Ila mia, Domenica perfetta. That's right! We got your fucking robot! Now give us back Not really that. or we <laughs> smash the Goomba! Whoa, we dude. smash the Goomba. That is super but anyway, racist. not exactly the not hardest thing to do, racist, capture dude. Lorenzo. Goomba, like in Mario! E ancora Still racist. Whatever. Everyone, shut up, or we're all going to find out what kind of filling is inside this cannoli. Ugh, not better. Oh, Still no. what racist. Are we gonna do? Uh, ideas, anybody? Ooh, I got one. If you guys had to get shot... Hey, it's their body, Griff. Where would you do it? Not now, Biff. We're in the middle of a war. It's a legit question, dudes. How about the pinky toe? That little piggy's had it coming for ages. Are you crazy? All the nerves in your whole body end in your toes, idiot. I want to take a bullet, not feel pain. The blue bastards have hidden their flag something fierce. Oh, and they have Lorenzo, Surge. Blast! We can't let them keep the robot. I've hid all our top secret battle station plans in that droid. Of course he did. Out for reinforcements. How's our ammo? <laughs> Listen we up, have dirty none. blue bastards. Red team is graciously and selfishly willing to open negotiations. Your base are belong to us. Surrender now and we'll spare your meaningless lives. Christ, this song again. Who's your negotiator? <laughs> Me. No deal. Your last two parlays ended with literal backstabbing. Send someone else. How about Biff? He's expendable if the talks break down. Yeah, whatever. The butt? Are you insane? That's right next to my Jingo Jingos, okay? Bullets, splinter. How about the arm? Arteries. Why are you discussing who what? gets shot? Yeah, I can't hear you because somebody has shot my ear off. No way. Oh, there's got to be some part of the body that's expendable. You just need to get shot in the appendix. If only I was a book. Bill, Bill. That is Bill such a lame Bill joke. Bill in the back, okay? Was that supposed to be Pig Latin? Can you hurry it up, Temple? Preferably before they find my master Vittorium. Stop it, man. Stop what? You're staring at me. I am not. R2. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. No, you don't. This is all my fault. I didn't, look, I didn't say a thing. Well, you're right, okay? I'm guilty. Whoa, can we talk about this later? All right, everyone is staring at us. Fine. Uh, trade you a base for a robot. Yeah, dude. 
It was the same damn shit with the same damn idiots. They get a thing, we steal the thing, we get a tank, they blow it up. It's like living in a fucking Looney Tunes cartoon. No We didn't kidding. know it yet. But all that was about to change. All right, so it's the backstory of of everything. It's good. It's good that it's that this flashback serves a purpose. Halt! Who goes there? Uh, it's me, going on patrol. No, you're talking to your best friend. What? Me? <laughs> oh, right, right. Yeah, of course I am. Loco, why don't you get some sleep? <laughs> okay. <laughs> he sleeps standing up on top of the base. Whatever. <laughs> what? Heads up. Holy fuck! Where the hell did you get one of these? Shore leave. Drink up, you damn dirty blue. Aww. Hey, you remember Pearson? They're the buddies. Uh, I remember someone drawing dicks on my notebook every time I went to the bathroom. <laughs> Oh, and then he did those notebook checks? <laughs> the look on your stupid face. <laughs> Fucking asshole. What are you bringing that up for? Georgina was in that class. You know, that, that's when we met. I remember it took you two years to finally ask her out. And that was a fun day. Fun. Right. Yeah, you managed to unite the entire fucking cafeteria in a slow clap. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> We should have joined the fucking Coast Guard. Yep. I bet the Coast Guard doesn't divide its people into teams and have them shoot at each other with loaded assault rifles. Oh, they actually do. They just use harpoon guns instead. <laughs> what? So you two were friends before the service. You knew each other. Yeah, that's right. We grew up together. We enlisted together. Buddy team, they called it. Freelancer overlooked that fact when they assigned us to opposite teams in the same canyon. We found that fact out later. Was that at the freelancer? This isn't an interview, Dylan Andrews. Shut the fuck up and listen. The conversation inevitably turned to the same place it always did. You ever wonder what the fuck we're doing here? Like all the goddamn time? You ever wonder what we're doing here? The way I here? see it, it's gotta be some super important government shit. Some, like, critical testing stuff. When we get out, there's gonna be medals, awards, fucking parades for us, dude. For you. Not me, I'm getting out soon. Yeah? Yeah, medical discharge. For real? I'm not fucking with you. This whole situation is garbage enough to begin with, but at least we're in it together. We're in it against each other, if you haven't noticed. You know what I mean. I would never do that to you. Red team had a shore leave a while back, and I snuck home back to Earth. Went a wall stowed away on a transport. For real? Yeah, it wasn't easy, but I had to see Georgina. Keeping the old flame alive. Wait, she hasn't moved on? No, dude, it's super serious between us. That's why I need to get back. I don't want to say you owe me one, but... <sighs> yeah, yeah. I'm the only reason you're fucking here. You know, if I had frequent flyer miles for every one of your guilt trips, I could cover your entire ride back to Earth. <laughs> so you're in? <laughs> Way I see it, it's my job to shoot you anyway. Hey, they might give me a medal for this. That's a spirit, all right. So, brass tacks, my pinky finger, I need you to shoot it off, all right? I've thought about it a lot, and that's going to be my best bet. Done. So that's why they were talking shoot. about shooting each other's... Right, not uh, now. We need witnesses, reports and shit, all right? I'll need the like pension figures and toes like and everything. You now for practice. Oh, good idea. I figured we could try a bunch of places and you can let me know what hurts the least. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Semi or full auto? Riddle me with holes. Thank God I brought along those explosive rounds. Mm, what are friends for? The plan was simple. Biff gets hurt, gets a medical discharge. First class ticket back home. But you know what they say. No plan survives first contact with the enemy. Oh, and then Project Freelancer comes in. Oh, God, no. Ah, oh, damn. Why'd you have to interrupt it mid... mid-story? Ah, oh, damn. Alright, but at least we're getting some backstory about, like, 
why uh, why they hate him. This is something I've been begging for for the last uh, last few weeks. And uh, all right, so Biff, I mean, just going by natural progression of logic here. Biff wants to go home, needs a medical discharge. Uh, I keep forgetting all the different characters. Fake Church says, "Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna shoot you, and it's gonna be, you know, we're gonna, you know, he's gonna go down uh, and request medical discharge, and then get the hell out and go see Regina uh, or George." Regina, Georgina, Georgina. That's what it is. And, uh, but before this plan can get enacted, Project Freelancer comes by and must be Carolina, uh, possibly Washington, or maybe just a whole group of them. Because they're taking out all the freelancers, but may, maybe not all of them. Maybe she just hates the freelancers collectively because of Carolina. But anyway, um... And maybe because the whole story about them getting close and whatever, like they, I keep pointing this out, but they keep bringing up like these, uh, these kids toys, it looks like. So is this like a, uh, a memoriam to Biff because of a family that he doesn't get or something along those lines? So... I mean, that's the only thing I can think about uh, with these last... The, the, excuse me, I cannot talk. Uh, but that's all I can think of the last couple of weeks. Um, yeah, and we just have to see what exactly Carolina's mission was when she went down to this particular blood gulch and did whatever... Uh, whatever mission they wanted. Ugh. Well, unfortunately, we're going to have to wait for the next episode. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think. Am I close to the mark on my theories and stuff like that? And what do you think of it? So, until the next episode, this is the A4th Wolf, and I'll see you guys next time.